things that stress people out or things that seem so like temporary and minor. Um, they're not going to be around for long, so I don't know. It's like, okay, well, that, like, what's the worst that can happen? They can fire us, right? Like, we can go find jobs somewhere else where somebody will pay us more. I mean, like, I don't know. Like, like those things, um, like, when you've got that sort of perspective on it, it it's, uh, it's not that big a deal. Um, I think the other piece of the puzzle is having children, like, you go home and, and you just can't, like, my four-year-old doesn't understand stress, right? Like, he doesn't care about that, and my eight-year-old just wants, wants daddy. So, like, those things give you that little break. Um, yeah, but I don't know that on a day-to-day -day basis I find work terribly stressful. Um, so, uh, I think, um, you know. Um, given that we asked you what your management style is, how do you think other people would describe you? Oh, interesting. Um, huh. From a management style perspective, I think, I think the hands-off part would actually be accurate. Um, <laughs> Maybe absent minded. <laughs> I don't, yeah, it's a uh, um, yeah. I think I think the um, uh, I think I can be opinionated, um, and I don't and direct about where things are. But I don't I don't generally get upset about things. It's just I think that. Um, I have, I can, I guess the thing that I've been told in the past is that I can seem intimidating um, because I, I end up being quiet and then I have really high standards and so I'll end up demanding more of work or sort of like asking for things. Um, but I guess absent-minded is the wrong, maybe the wrong word. I can be somewhat oblivious to things. And so, um, so I will say things that to me are just me pondering stuff and that other people take as me being upset about something or like they interpret it in a different way. And so it becomes really important to, um, to, to get out of my head and make sure that I understand what's going on around me. Yeah. Um, because, um, that does that does happen sometimes. What, um, given that the future is a little bit ambiguous, what do you think the future holds for a company like yours? Um, you know, it's interesting because I've seen a lot of the 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 stuff going on about like the death of design agencies and things of that nature, and um, and. I have a harder time relating to that. Um, one of the one of the things that we have done, like throughout Cloud Four's history, is um, we, to our own detriment at times, are not particularly interested in sort of doing the stuff that we've done in the past. Mm -hmm. um, so we're constantly looking for where the technology is headed and because of that that's put us in a spot where I feel like we've got differentiation like we're not <clears throat> I think about this a lot because um, we have right now we're focused on responsive design and like every other web agency in the world is focused on responsive design so it's like how is there differentiation but the reality is is that it is true right we're a handful of companies that have really been at the forefront of this and spent time writing about it. And like, and if you want to talk to people about, you know, doing complex responsive designs, um, you're probably looking at a handful of companies. And if you want to talk to people about dealing with, say, like responsive images, you pretty much have like us and maybe Boku now that now that Matt Marquis is there, right? Like, there are there are areas where 
our level of research and investigation and, and sort of the things that we present on and teach on are just like orders of magnitude higher than, than most agencies have. Uh, and so because of that, we end up differentiated in that way. I feel like a lot of what I've seen from the, the like death of agencies perspective is, is companies that don't have a niche. And for Cloud4, we've always sought out a niche, right? Um, the niche at the very beginning was a very broad niche. It was mobile. But at that time, most businesses, most agencies hadn't really even been thinking about mobile yet. And so we were like that niche, even though in retrospect it's huge, at that time was very specific and unique. And then we evolved from there um, you know, to, okay, well, we're only going to do, we're only going to do web-based, um, mobile stuff. And so then we're doing phone gap based things, um, in addition to doing web stuff. And then we're like, okay, well, that's, um, that still puts us in the app store mess. And so we don't want to do that. Um, 